Spirit Energy installed the first Tesla Powell 3 in the country back in June 2024. We also consulted on the design of Powell 3 and won an award from Tesla for the quality of our installation work installing the battery system. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Powell 3 in six minutes. If you'd like more detail, then you can watch our big half an hour long technical breakdown of the system. To start with, Tesla Powell 3 is a sleek, industry leading all in one battery solution. The battery is 15 kilowatt hours, however, Tesla only talks about the usable capacity of the system, which is 13.5 kilowatt hours. The battery can charge at a rate of 5 kilowatts, meaning that fully charging from 0 to 100% will take about 2 hours and 42 minutes. Up to 4 Powell 3 units can be installed on a single phase supply. However, if you want to increase the storage capacity, but don't want to buy a whole other Powell 3, then you can add on what's called a Tesla DC expansion pack. The expansion pack is just 13.5 kilowatt hours of raw storage. It doesn't have any of the electrical gubbins built in, which means that it's quite a bit cheaper than a whole Powell 3. It's pretty much the same physical size as the main Powell as well, just a bit thinner. You can add up to three expansion packs per power wall, meaning that if you have one power wall with three expansion packs, then that will give you 54 kilowatt hours of storage. If you have four power walls, each with three expansion packs, then that gives you 216 kilowatt hours of storage with the power wall system. Watch our video where we installed 19 Tesla power wall threes at a house in Buckinghamshire to learn more about this. If you do install an expansion pack, then your charge rate also increases and the entire system will charge at 8 kilowatts instead of 5 kilowatts. There are two ways to install the expansion pack. It can either be stacked behind the main Powell 3 or mounted adjacent to it. If you're getting an expansion pack retrofitted to an existing Powell 3, then I definitely recommend mounting the expansion adjacent to the main Powell 3 if you can, as that will certainly be a cheaper and quicker install. One of the highlights of Powell 3 is its hybrid inverter. Upon its release, this was really revolutionary for the UK battery storage market, and it really helped to drive the home battery storage industry forward in the UK. The Powell 3 has an 11.04 kilowatt hybrid inverter. That means that it can output 11.04 kilowatts to the house continuously. It also has a peak power output of 185 locked rotor amps to allow it to support load startups for appliances with a motor. The Powell 3 inverter has three solar string inputs, or MPPTs, and can accept up to 20 kilowatts of solar DC input power. One of the really great features of the inverter is its MPPT input voltage range, or simply the number of panels that you can have on a string. The MPPT input voltage ranges from 60 volts to 550 volts, and with standard 470 to 480 watt panels like the ICO Neostar 2 and ICO Neostar 3, this typically means that you can have anywhere from 3 to 12 panels on one MPPT. Another great feature about this inverter is that it can be downrated depending on your inverter limitation if you get some sort of restriction from the DNO. If, for whatever reason, you're not permitted to install the inverter at its full 11.04 kilowatt inverter rating, then it can be throttled down and set to any of 3.68, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10 kilowatts without any of the hardware needing to be changed. A big advantage to Powell 3 is that because the inverter rating is set in the software instead of dictated by the built in hardware, it can be remotely uprated down the line if your DNO offer increases. See our YouTube video talking about how to get a higher DNO rating to learn more about this. Powell 3 is also capable of full 100 amp single phase power cut protection through something called the Tesla Gateway. Now until recently, Powell actually couldn't be installed without the Gateway, so you pretty much got power cut protection as standard when you installed a Powell 3. The Gateway essentially enables the system to island the house from the grid in the event of a power cut. The gateway is no longer mandatory, and you can now get Powell 3 installed without the gateway. If you'd like to get Powell installed with power cut protection, then that will cost in the region of £500 more than if you get it without power cut protection, depending on complexity. Powell cannot currently do three phase power cut protection, however, Tesla has said that this is in their development pipeline. All of the DC coupled solar can be kept running in a power cut 
and Powerwall can also keep up to 7 kilowatts of AC coupled solar running in a power cut as well without any rewiring of the existing system required. The Tesla Powerwall 3 integrates seamlessly with the Tesla app, providing live visualizations of battery status, solar energy generation and detailed performance metrics, including grid usage and grid independence. If you'd like to try this out, I'd recommend downloading the Tesla app and scrolling down to where it says Demo Powerwall and playing around with it to see the various different features that you get. You don't need to create a login or anything, you can just click continue as guest. Tesla does also offer an API so you can build your own app to communicate with and monitor Power 3 if you wish. The algorithm built into Power 3 is also one of the best available. It's designed to learn about your usage and optimize your savings by charging and discharging accordingly. It will look at weather patterns, your predicted solar generation, your house's recent electricity consumption data and other factors to work out how much to off-peak charge and when to charge or discharge to the house to ensure that you save the most over the course of the year. There are a few other advanced features to Tesla Power 3 including Active Thermal Management, Stormwatch, Tesla Electric and Tesla VPP. But if you want to learn more about these features then you'll need to watch my full video on the topic. The Tesla Power 3 warranty is one of its biggest selling points. Power 3 comes with one of the most robust warranties in the battery market and it reflects Tesla's confidence in the longevity and durability of their latest battery system. The warranty is simply 80% retained capacity after 10 years with unlimited cycles. This means that you're guaranteed at least 10.8 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity after 10 years. If you'd like to get a Powerwall installed, please do get in touch with Spirit Energy. Do check out our other videos on all things solar and battery and if you'd like to learn about the steps to getting a solar and battery system installed, do check out our case study video series, Sam Solar Journey, which shows the stages to getting a solar installation. Thanks for watching.